From the unsettling black shadow spotted on the landing to the chilling presence that lingers in the air, this investigation is anything but ordinary. And as we've learned from years of exploring the paranormal, patience is the key to unlocking the secrets hidden within these haunted walls. Join us tonight as we venture into the unknown, seeking answers to the unexplainable. UK paranormal search where the supernatural meets reality. Project continues. We're back at the infamous ancient Ram Inn in Wotton under Edge for another thrilling investigation. And tonight we've got a little twist for you. I brought along a full fledged believer in the supernatural. It's going to be fascinating to see if their presence amplifies any paranormal activity we encounter tonight. Will their faith unlock hidden energies? We're about to find out. Now, I won't dive into the full history of this location as we've covered it extensively in our own previous videos. And if you're new here or want to catch up on the backstory, feel free to explore our channel for all the eerie details. But tonight it's a showdown of beliefs and scepticism. The boxing gloves are off and we're ready to witness what unfolds as the sceptic joins forces with the believer at this fantastic and ancient haunted place. Stay tuned folks, things are about to get spooky and you won't want to miss a second of the action. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and let's embark on this paranormal journey together. Right, so we're here now at the Ram Inn. Obviously, we brought the Believer with us. <laughs> Harry, Harry, you've done lots of research on this building before you come. It's a place that you've watched on the internet numerous times. It's, yeah. You say to me, there's loads of stuff that goes on here. So, it's your first time here tonight. You've been really excited about coming. How did you feel when you walked into the building? Um, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. I said... Obviously, I've seen a lot of videos and stuff. I didn't expect there to be it be in such a busy place. I thought it was not in the middle of the town. I thought it was like out of the way a little bit. Um, but first impressions when I walked in and first walked up to the house and walked in through the door was well. When we walked into here, especially because of the smell and in the I love the smell of John's jackets. Yeah, it smells a little bit like WD forty, but. Um, yeah, it does give you a weird feeling, especially when you walk around the rest of the building. Yeah, but you, you go in the other rooms. And you've that. had a walk around, yeah, don't you? Yeah. There's, a, there's a few rooms you don't particularly like. What, what, from your point of view, what are you expecting from tonight? What, what, what um, is it that you're expecting? Are you expecting it to be like all the videos that you've seen on YouTube? Um, are you, or are you no, because it could be. I don't think it would be anything like videos on YouTube because they either could be I'm not saying that they are, but they could be put on or they're not. Just have to see what happens, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not. I don't really know. Don't know what to expect. I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> what to expect. Nothing could happen. Something could happen. Something but what we're going to do, we've agreed, haven't we? We've just been having yeah. a, we've just been having a cup of coffee and just chilling out a bit. We've just been doing a little bit of filming, and we've agreed that you've got to do a lone vigil tonight about yeah, about one o'clock, half hour on the landing. So you're going to say you go over that one, aren't you? Yeah. You you went to the castle with me in Scotland. Yeah. That video is also on YouTube as well. How does this? in relate to the castle in, in, um, in, in, in your perspective because i don't know i think it's, it's a lot different because i'd never seen the castle or seen anything about the castle on youtube obviously watching yeah. stuff and then obviously i've seen stuff here so i think i was a little bit more worried about coming here than i was going to the castle because you've had that suggestion now haven't you yeah, about yeah, the things yeah. you've watched yeah. and which is which would you say was the most spookiest building um to be fair, the basement in the castle was pretty scary. Like when it was down, yeah. well, not scary, but like you felt, you definitely felt something down there. But whether it's just because you're alone in the dark and obviously it's new. But Cause this is on your second second investigation. Yeah, yeah. So see what happens. We're just going to take yeah. play it by ear, aren't we? So what we're going to do now? We're going to go into night vision. Um, 
we're going to investigate the Asian ram in for the, I think it's the fifth time for me. First time for me. So let's get there now. Right, so we're going to night vision now. We're just in the old pub area. So what we're just going to do, we're going to give it a call out in, in here. If we get nothing, what we're going to do is going to do a few EVPs. Harry's brought his spirit up because he likes it. So we've left that running and uh, see what comes through. What was that before when you said, no, I was having a coffee and you left your, that app thing running, didn't you? Yeah, I was you... walking through here and then I went, I was stood near the uh, the grave behind you there and it said children's spirit, so obviously goes up. That is where the... the... Child's grave is. Yeah, child's grave is, so hopefully. Stay in talk. Stay in talk. Stay in talk. Yeah, I'm going to stay in talk. Are you going to come speak to us? How do you feel how the lights have gone out? Um, to be honest, even when I was walking around by myself earlier, in here I didn't actually feel that bad. But it does feel a little bit different from the lights. Where's the place you don't like? Anywhere in particular? Upstairs, just upstairs in general. What, every room? Yeah, and it, to be fair, as soon as you, as soon as you come out of here, and he head towards the bar, which is supposed Standing to be. Behind you. Oh, sorry, so behind you. <laughs> As it looks not you. <laughs> I'm sat down. Alright. <laughs> um, the, um, yeah, as soon as you come out that door there and you go into the area where the stairs are, I feel like you're going to change the atmosphere there. How did you feel in the barn area? Um, not too bad. It's, it's, it's different being so that whole side of the building when soon you walk through this door, that whole side of the building. And that was See, it's funny because I've been a few times now and I, the first couple of times I felt nothing in the barn. Now, the last time I came here, the third time, I said on camera in one of the videos that if anything was going to happen, it would happen in the barn area. It just felt different to the other, the other like times I've been here. And that's when we got the big crack. There was a big thud on the landing that came from the barn area. And it's and you know the, where the big bench is? Yeah. It sounded like somebody had just sat on that bench. So it's weird. It's like, it's one of them places where all of a sudden you think, this place, this, the atmosphere has changed. But I find that you have to be really patient here. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Do you want to call Harry? If there's anybody here with us, if you can make a noise, or if you go over to the table and you speak, the little box on the side might pick your voice up, or it might come through the other device that's saying words out loud. Or we'll just make a simple tap so we can know that you're here. Well, if there is anyone in here, there's a ball in front of me on the barrel. If you can move that, you'll be able to hear it as well. Crow's in the same position how he is when we came. It's not moved. Colin. What was that? Colin? What was that before? Did you knock? I did not know. Did you hear that? No. I heard a knock. Might be his chair that moment, is it? Just hit one side of it and then it's. Yeah, that, was that you? Yeah. 
Well, there's no spirits of the ram in with us tonight. There's only me and Harry here. We ask with respect, can you come forward? Can you come and give us can you give us some type of sign that you are here? Can you knock on something or can you walk towards us? Hear your voice? You know me from previous visits. Can you tap? Knock on something like this. Oh, if you're up above, that's knock on the floorboards above. My name is Phil. You got Harry in the corner, sat, sat down. He's a full believer in the paranormal. Can you come and do something to him? Can you come and touch him? Pull his jacket. And pull my head. Touch his hand. Okay, we're in the barn now. Edward, who's supposed to haunt this this part of the building, the nasty entity, the nasty entity that doesn't like men. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're that strong, mate, come forward now and do something in this room. Make it happen. Come on, Edward. Come and sit on that bench or tap on it like you did the last time I was here. Can you do that now? Can you do that tonight? Stop being a coward. Come forward. Or is it just vulnerable people that you pick on? If you want us out of this inn tonight, then do something now. CCTV cameras. That bit is. Clicking noise, I think that's what it is, yeah. Come on, just. What was that, Ali? Well, go on then, prove it. Do something. Are oh, you that weak? Prove that you're here then. Because I don't believe that you exist. I honestly don't. If you're gonna do something, do it now. Move something, dead easy. Walk towards us. Go and push Harry off that chair. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull my hood. Put a bit of my clothing. <laughs> Not push me off this chair. Make a noise on the bench. Yeah, I'll take my arms off this table. This table is pretty rocky and loose. Lean on the table. Come and shake this table. I'll leave my hand on it gently so you can prove to me. Is it true, Edward, that you have a brother called Michael? And you stop Michael from going to the light, I believe, don't you? That's what I've been told.
Is Michael with us tonight? Edward's brother Michael. Come forward if you're here. What did you say, Harry, about the barn? Feels different. In what way, mate? I don't know if it's because it's a little bit darker. It just feels like, you know. Not like in a sense, like, if people are around, it's a death that came off. Like, you know, when you that feeling when you're running down the stairs when you're a kid and you feel like someone's behind you. you feel that, I feel like someone's behind you, but you know that someone's there. That There's a presence here. There's someone's. I don't know if it's just as darker. Come on, see your movement. Do something. That was weird. Do something. Give you permission to make a noise or something. Bang on the barn door. Bang on the door that we just come through. On the table. Wrap the chain, anything. If you made a loud enough noise that scared me that much, I will probably not come back in here. So why don't you scare me out of here? My name is Rose. Rose? Well, if Rose is here, then why don't you make a noise? Look how dark it is down there, Harry. Oh, yeah. Huh? Right, yeah. <laughs> Where the staircase is now. Could, could you do this now alone? Nah. You couldn't? Hey. Someone's just tapped next to me. Someone's what? Someone's just tapped next to me. I heard that. Did you hear it? Yeah. I heard that from here. That was you tapping next to me. Can you say yes through that box on the table? About what thirty minutes into? Oh yeah, we well, watch your head. Um, what well, about thirty minutes into the investigation? Yeah, nothing much. Has happened. That's happened. I think it was the chimney. Yeah, so. they said the night's only young. I think it's only about eleven o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, so what we're going to do? We're going to have a quick. Should we have a quick coffee? Yeah, we'll have a quick drink, and then what we're going to do? We're going to go upstairs. Yeah, radiation come in. Okay, we're up in the attic. So what we're going to do is just going to have a, a very quick sweep round. We've done the the inn area, we've done the barn. Uh, so we're just going to do the attic, go downstairs and do the landing bishops and witch's room before we uh, get into the uh, investigation proper. knock on so it's in this thing you knock three times on a bit of wood and then introduce yourself and then see if anything happens after does anybody hear my name is Harrison or Harry I'm a good person and if you're a good person you can come and take a seat next to me, I don't mind. And if you could make a noise by tapping on the table like I just did. Or, if he 
you speak into this device that's on the table here and say where we are, what part of the building we're in. You've got to go. Why? Why have I got to go? If I've got to go, then I need to hear you first. I'm calling out to the innkeeper's daughter. That apparently resided in this part of the inn. Some people say you hung yourself, some people say you was killed. Do you wish to come forward tonight and communicate with us? Can you come and prove that? Can you come and prove that to me and Harry? You make a sound. Do you know Caroline, the owner? The owner now of this property? Partly when she was a child, the furniture went down the stairs and blocked her exit. Could you move something for us tonight? just to prove that you still exist in this inn. Okay, I'm calling out to the witch. Are you here tonight? The witch that was burnt at the stake. The witch that took refuge in this building. Are you here tonight? Are you with us? If there's anybody in the den, can you make the crib, the crib rock? Can you make a noise on the landing? Can you show yourself in shadow on the landing? If you walk past the bishop's room, there's a censored light on the wall. If that goes, if you walk past it, it will go off. Can you make the light go off, please? <laughs> the big, there's a big light anomaly, but it probably just a fly. Uh, it's just gone past the screen on the landing area, a white look like a light, but I think it's just a fly. There's a crib in the den for the children that want to come and play with the dolls. Can you make a noise in there? Can you make a sound? I hear your movement. That's weird. That's a bit weird considering it's supposed to be on pagan burial grounds. Yeah. Or is that just coincidence, you see? Yeah, it could be a coincidence. It's still weird a, though. Yeah, still quite a strange coincidence. <laughs> considering it could have said anything. Yeah. And it said pagan. Is it is this a pagan burial ground underneath us and underneath our feet? Is the bodies underneath our feet? You need to come and communicate to us in another way. By sound, touch, smell, light. Come on, we know you're capable. There's 
there's also supposed to be a cat in here that's her crying on numerous occasions the witch's cat the black cat Some really weird sensations on my right arm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was literally just about to say, out of all the rooms, I've just sat down in this chair and I feel like I could just go. Oh. And I'm not like. I'm still around. Well, come and do something then. Tap on something. Knock loudly. If you're still around, walk past that light. If you turn that light on, I'll be very impressed. Or if you knock that ball off the book that I put on there. If you did that, to be fair, if you knock the ball off, I might run out. Um, yeah. Yeah. You tell me the story, what you told me before. <laughs> I, yeah, so I, some of the people that I do watch on YouTube that have been here, he's... We like investigators. It said that twice now. Yeah. The um. Every he's, the person, one of the people that I watch, he comes here. The all of the times that he's been here, he has the overwhelming feeling of just going to sleep, and he has fallen asleep on the bed, and people have had to wake him up because he feels like it, he just got into a proper deep sleep. But do you think you're tired just because you've sat down or? Um, yeah, quite possibly. I am quite comfy as well, to be fair, in this chair. Because you've got a bad back on you, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, my shoulder blade's killing me. Um, yeah. And I didn't... I didn't feel... I haven't felt tired anywhere else. I've just had a can of Red Bull. Shit, I I'll tell you what, shall we go into another room? Shall we go into the bishop's room and just see how you feel? I went to sleep here, and then I just felt myself sinking into this chair even more. Can you play music? I went to sleep here, and then... I just felt myself sinking into this chair even more. Can you play music? I went to sleep here, and then I just felt myself sinking into this chair even more. Can you play music? And then I'll be back to you after we've played it, because the YouTuber are a bit funny about putting music on. So I'm going to play the music and I will get back to you and tell you what happened. Right, what we've done, we've played, we've played the music, nothing's really happened. Um, I felt quite chilled and it's funny because Harry in the other room could have fallen asleep and I had, it had the effect on me in this room, I could have just fallen asleep. But what's interesting is... Uh, what's interesting is, Harry, because you was falling asleep in the other room and then you came into this room and put that music on and... And led down and now I feel... Wide awake. So it'd be interesting later, or maybe in a minute, maybe even, to go back in that room and just see how you feel. That's the noise out there, Harry. Right? Oh. Noise out there. I'm family. That was the noise outside there. So what we've done, we've come back back into the witch's room because this is the, where Harry felt he was going to fall asleep. Abandoned. Went back into the witch's room, he was wide awake, and Bishop's room, sorry, he was wide awake. So we just come back into the witch's room again just to see how he feels in this room as if he wants to, if he wants to fall asleep again. So we'll just give it five, ten minutes or so and then what we'll do, we'll go into the landing area. If there's anybody here that's trying to make me feel tired, 
and sleepy, I either come and say yes into my device that's sat next to me, or knock on the table once for yes, or two for no. Feel tired here? No. No. Might just be because it was just sat down or something. What's up? You move. No. No. Why? Just thought I felt the floor like. I'm like the floor, or just like the full building, like just like move a little bit. Not that obviously like the full building, but like the floor, like. Like it, do you know, when someone walks on their life. Do you not feel it then? No, I'm still, I'm still perfectly still. You don't feel it? No. I told you that this area is the worst bit of the same. Like, in your room where you are. Did you hear that? I didn't hear it, no. I can feel like the floor, like I can feel it going through my legs. I told you. Sod the bishops and witches room is this area I hate. I don't know if it's my legs. But you know when you're like... Speak up. Do you know when you're somewhere? Yeah. And like, if someone shuts a, a door or does something like far away and you can feel it in the floor. I've stood perfectly still, mate, as you can see. If you're walking towards Harry, can you walk closer to him? Can you knock near Harry? Make the crib rock. Move the pram. Walk around him, touch him, make him cold. Make him that cold. Make him freezing cold. Thank you for what you're doing. Do some more. How do you feel? I don't know. Huh? It's, I know it's just whatever's casting a shadow on that wall. That where the, the brickwork, what? the brickwork on that wall where it's missing, like the, the render type stuff, it looks like a person in the dark.